Hello students, how are you? I hope you are fine. I am Pratima. Welcome you all to this video. Don't fear, I am with you. We will go together. This time, I am going with some small children. We will learn how to construct angles. We will learn to construct angles with help of compass. We will learn how to draw 60 degree angle and this is the easiest one. For that we need a scale, we need a compass and pencil is with my hand. So let us start. With help of the compass I draw an angle side that means I'll draw an arm of the angle. So I'll draw an arm of the angle. Let me name it BC because I want the angle to be named as ABC and B will be my vertex. A, B, C. I am putting an arrow here. Next, I will take compass. And I am using the digital compass. You can use your physical compass. I am giving just idea how to draw. And simultaneously, you can also draw because I will be very slow with this instrument. First, I will take the compass. I will put in at the vertex exactly at the vertex I'll put and I'll adjust the length of the arc with radius sometimes the students ask how much a radius any radius but it should be less than BC any radius you can take radius this much you can take radius small you can take radius much bigger but don't take very big and draw the arc now to intersect this BC or you can start from BC point also no problem it may not go this next I will we'll take this compass to this intersection point of the arc with line BC arm BC then I will draw another arc and here you should be very careful that don't disturb the length of the arc or don't disturb the compass. Put the compass tip on the intersection point of the arc and BC and draw a arc again which intersect the previous arc. Then compass job is finished. I am keeping in the box. Here I will mark this point intersection point so that it will be easy for me to join with B and that will give you the angle. So I am taking the scale again. I will join this B with that point. I hope you have understood. You can draw yourself now. I will take the scale and I'll join the two points. There may be some error because I'm drawing digitally. While you draw on your copy, you may not face any problem. Perfect. So I am keeping the scale also in the box. Next, I'll name the angle. This is A and ABC is equal to 60 degree. I can write here. This is the measure of the angle 60 degree. Now, how I will prove that it is 60 degree? I can prove because I can measure with a protractor. I can verify. 
So this is the protractor. I'll take the protractor and how to measure the angle. I'll put the center or middle of the protractor on the vertex exactly on B. Then I'll see the angle is on the right side. I'll go this upper scale. So 0, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Perfect. It is exactly 60 degree. The construction is over. Only thing is you have to write once that angle A, B, C is equal to 90, eh, sorry, 60 degree. 90 degree will also learn, but not now. It is 60 degree. I hope you followed. Now you can practice yourself. We will learn the angle construction 30 degree now. 30 degree is half of 60 degree. So we will draw 60 degree and we will bisect it. Half of 60 degree. This concept we are applying here. So first we will draw 60 degree then we will bisect it. Each will be 30 degree. So we need a scale. We need a compass. So with help of scale, I'll draw an angle 60 degree. So I'll name it. I am naming this as uh, P and Q and this time I'll draw angle at Q so that you can learn how to make angle right to a line. So I'll take a compass. I'll put the fixed end on B, uh, sorry Q. Then I'll adjust an arc. I'll make an arc of radius anything, any, but not more than PQ. And I'll make an arc here to intersect your PQ. Next is I'll place the compass at the intersection of the arc and the line. I'll draw another arc without disturbing the arc or radius of the compass. So now when I'll join this, when I'll join this intersection point with Q, I'll get the angle 60 degree. So I am taking the scale, I will join these two points, one is intersection of this arc and another is Q. I will draw a line with pencil. So it is taking time because it is digital scale. And with your physical scale, you can draw very quickly. So this line I am joining. Now, so I am giving the name R now. So angle PQR or RQP is equal to 60 degree. Now I need 30 degrees, so I'll make half of it. So you know how to bisect an angle or if you don't know, so just check again, refresh your memory, then you will get 30 degree from 60 degree. What will draw the bisector of this PQR? For this, I'll take again the help of compass. 
I'll put the compass at these two intersection point. One is this arc intersecting this point and I'll draw an arc here. Like this. With the same measurement of the arc, which arc of same radius, I'll put the compass in the intersection point here and I will draw an arc of same radius to intersect the previous arc. I'm keeping the compass. Now when I'll join this intersection point with Q, I'll get this 60 degree is made into equal two parts. So each will be 30 degree and 30 degree. So let us draw the line segment joining your Q and the intersection point of the arc. You can, po you can pause the video, you can draw yourself, you will be quicker than me. Now, let us join these two. Good. So, this will be I'll put the arrow here. I'll give a name to it. This is my S. So, this angle is 30 degree. Each is 30 degree, but I am not giving the name to the above one because I want to draw PQS as my 30 degree. SQR is also 30 degree, but I want to mention one angle only. Next is verification. Let us take the protractor, put here, put the middle of the protractor on Q and from this zero you start counting. Are you getting 30 degree? Just see the lower scale 0, 10, 20, 30. So you are getting 30 degree. Perfect. So we are able to do it. Now you will write the your construction part. What you will write? We will write that this SQP angle SQP angle is equal to 30 degree. You can also name ABC, you can say DF, you can pick QR, anything. So I hope you learnt how to draw 30 degree. Subscribe, like and share the video to learn more.